Hi guys, it's Becca Samurai Mama. Welcome back. If you're a subscriber, if you're new here, thank you for joining me today. I hope you subscribe and you continue to follow me as I do more cooking videos. So today's video, I'm going to show you how I make roast pork in the instant pot. This is one of those recipes that back in the day, I used to do in the slow cooker. And I actually got this from a friend of mine who was telling me that she makes this roast pork in her slow cooker. Her husband absolutely loves it and it's super easy and cheap. And she even just throws in a solid frozen hunk of meat in there before she goes to work in the morning. And when she comes home, it's all done. And all she has to do is thicken the gravy. And I'm like, what? What kind of magic are you talking about, right? So over the years, I have built on this recipe and converted it to instant pot and that's what i'm going to show you today is the now day recipe i will put my recipe below in the description as well as the original in the description okay so first things first bust out your instant pot i'm using my eight quart and we're going to first put in your hunk of meat your pork butt pork shoulder uh, it has to be something with fat in it. I would not suggest a pork sirloin only because I like the extra juices and moisture that you get from a fattier chunk of meat. Okay, so put that in your instant pot. Put your liquid and I'm using about four cups of chicken broth. Then we're going to sprinkle some Hawaiian salt on the top just to boost some flavors. And here's where most of the flavor comes from. Garlic, plenty garlic, okay? Throw that in on top of your meat. We're gonna seal this up and cook it 20 minutes per pound on manual pressure, high pressure, and then not let it natural pressure release <sighs> until the pin drops on its own or if you are crunched for time, as long as you let it sit for like 15 minutes before you quick release, you should be okay. But it's preferred that you let it natural pressure release all the way to ensure a tender roast. Okay, so now that it's all done cooking and we can safely open the lid, we're going to thicken up this liquid. So we use a saute function on the Instant Pot and that's gonna bring this liquid back up to a boil and add a cornstarch slurry, which is just cornstarch and water mixed up and stir, okay? And then you'll start to see that it will thicken and it should thicken and boil really quickly. Then I add in some kitchen bouquet, probably a tablespoon or two of kitchen bouquet. What this does is this adds color and flavor to your gravy. And then the last thing I do is I add in some either milk or half and half or heavy whipping cream. And this just adds in that creamy opacity that you're looking for in gravy or that I like in my gravy. <laughs> and what you end up with is something between the consistency of a roast and shredded pork because it's just gonna fall apart in your instant pot and it's going to be tender and juicy and just marinating in this wonderfully comforting savory gravy but it's so easy and it's so wallet friendly budget friendly mama friendly busy person friendly because it's a one pot meal basically one pot you're only dirtying one pot and you're making your roast and gravy all in one it's perfect so again my recipe will be listed below the variation and original recipe also listed below depending on your budget depending on your taste buds you can you know figure it out <laughs> anyway I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, share with your friends, subscribe. If you hit that bell, you'll know when I post my next video, which is on average, I try, I'm trying to shoot for a schedule, you guys, of once a week on Fridays, so you can look forward to that. And anyway, I hope, 
I hope I get to see you again next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.